morning friends i hope you are well i'm just sipping on my coffee still per usual i just got this mug i don't know four days ago and i think it's so cute i love the shape of it so every time i use it i've been washing it right after so i can use it again the next day because that's how much i love it i just love picking out like my little mug in the morning and you i have quite the collection now so i get to choose my vessel of choice each day and just switch it up so it's the little things, right? <laughs> but I am excited to just vlog and spend the next couple days together. So last week I started my journey of making homemade sourdough bread and my sweet friend Alyssa gave me some of her sourdough starter, which if you don't know much about sourdough bread, it is quite the journey, quite the complex thing to bake because to really get that beautiful and dimensional sourdough flavor, you need a healthy starter, which is kind of a fermented combination of flour and water that kind of sits and you have to feed it. It is like a science experiment. I swear I've been joking with B every time I feed my starter because I have to weigh all my different components and you have to make sure it's bubbly. I truly feel like a mad scientist. So. It's fun though, and I'm just gonna try to bake my first loaf tomorrow morning. So you guys will be along for the journey and I'm hoping for the best because I am very invested at this point. Not financially, because it's very affordable to make, but emotionally and physically I am invested. So hopefully it turns out delicious because that sounds so good. Just a slice of sourdough bread with some butter or avocado toast sounds heavenly so fingers crossed and we also need to work on our Halloween costumes because Halloween is just around the corner I can't believe it October is flying by we haven't even been to a pumpkin patch yet so I'm gonna try to do that this weekend with B because Saturday we're supposed to have great weather it's gonna be about 75 degrees is the high which is just a beautiful fall day in Florida so hopefully that works out and we're going to some of our close friends are having a 1920s murder mystery Halloween party so we're going to that and we each have our own different characters so I already bought a couple things for Brandon's costume but we have to DIY a bit of it so I want to try to do that today or tomorrow and then I have to get some things for my costume so it's just gonna be a fun couple days and I'm excited to spend some time with you all all right friends, here is where my sourdough starter currently is hanging out. I just fed it hmm, an hour ago, so it hasn't risen much, but hopefully around 8 p.m. tonight, it'll be up to here. Bee's working from home per usual, um, which I am so thankful for. I love having him here so much. It definitely has its challenges because of course I'm doing this and he has meetings and we have to communicate quite a bit more, but that's great practice for a marriage anyways. So I'm really thankful that he's here. It's just nice having him as company. Oh wow, there's a grasshopper on our window. Let me show you guys. It's crazy looking from this angle. I really can't tell what it is. It might be a moth. I need to get a side angle, but it just kind of distracted me. Anyways, as I was saying, hopefully my starter will rise. It has been doing well. I fed it about four times since I first got the starter from my friend. It's, hopefully this isn't too confusing, but basically you have to, you have the starter and then you have to feed it once or twice a day to just give it, kind of activate it. So you give it flour and water and not just any kind of flour, not just any kind of water. It's so specific, at least the recipe I'm following. I have to get it 25 grams of whole wheat flour and then 50 grams of unbleached all-purpose flour and then 75 grams of 85 to 90 degree water and not just any water i give it mineral mountain water just like high quality water so it's funny how kind of high maintenance it is but hopefully it's worth it so we shall see but i'll check back in with it later tonight and hopefully we'll begin the bread making process because i am so ready for it but for now, I'm just gonna get some computer work done and kind of prep for a video I'm filming this afternoon. I'm gonna film a home decor haul and kind of a plan with me, a decorate with me for our home build because I just really have been working to start sourcing furniture and kind of planning out how I wanna furnish the space and finding links to the furniture I wanna get and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna kinda of do a whole video about that. So I wanna prep for that. And then soon it's gonna be time to make some lunch. For 
lunch, I made some salad and some leftover potatoes, and I put some leftover salmon on beef salad. It's really simple. It's just like a spring lettuce mix with some feta, some uh, chopped green peppers, some sunflower seeds, and this dressing is so, so good. It's one of our favorites. We just love this brand in general. She has a lot of really yummy different dressings, but this one is the real French vinaigrette, and it's really light but super, super flavorful. So, bon appetit. We're both just gonna eat on our own because Bee's gonna work through lunch and I'm just gonna do some work as well. So it's just nice. We're still together, but not really eating together. So that's what we're doing. But I am making tacos tonight and I'm really excited because I love tacos. That's what I crave the most out of, all. it's probably my top three cravings in my top three cravings. So very excited and I don't have tortillas so I'm gonna make homemade tortillas which I've done a few times and they've turned out okay so I'm gonna try to really master it tonight and get a good recipe and a good tortilla making skill down I don't really have any tools so I have to roll it out which is the hardest part because when you have a nice flour tortilla you want it to be really thin so that it's not too thick and kind of it can get kind of tough so we'll see but I'm excited to do that later Okay, so here is the start of our Halloween costumes. This is Brandon's, and I'll show you my dress in a second. But these are our two characters for the party. So there's a whole description, a biography, talking points, secrets to hide, and just so many different details. And I just think it's so fun. So Brandon is a mad scientist, which I think is just so so funny and fitting and I'm an aspiring actress which is just great because I get to wear like a cute little 1920s dress and it'll just be great but for him since he's kind of more of a scientist um, I got him these glasses from Goodwill which are just perfect and I think he tried them on and they looked awesome and then I also got this white button-up shirt from Goodwill because I think it'll kind of give that lab coat look and will fit him nicely so basically what I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to add stains on it to make it kind of look used and I think that was one of the ideas for him let me see he can usually be found wearing a slightly dirty lab coat so I think I want to add like some green stains, some red stains, so I have to get creative with what I want to use to do that. I don't have any kind of food coloring or dye. I actually do have pink tie dye, so I could actually do that. That would be perfect probably, but for the green, I was thinking I could just use some kind of food substance or even leaves like I don't want to take any plant leaves off of my plants but or grass outside I could do that just to kind of make it a little funky but I think that's my plan I just have to kind of get a little more creative and plan it a bit more but let me show you the dress that I'm gonna wear it's awesome because I actually already have a dress that I think looks pretty 1920s I actually wore it when we went to Jamaica in February, which, oh my goodness, that seems like a lifetime before. That was the last time we traveled on a plane, right before everything went bonkers, <laughs> but this is the dress. It is so, so beautiful, and it definitely gives me that 19, 1920s energy, so I think it'll be perfect, and then I don't have to buy a dress, but I still need to find accessories. So I definitely still want to find some kind of headpiece, which I don't know if I'll DIY it and go to Joanne's and pick stuff up there, or if I'll just buy it from Party City or something. So tomorrow I'm going to run errands. So I'll try to find something and then a headpiece, maybe, I don't know, I have to check my card, but just little details to add a little bit more flair. You know what time it is, iced coffee time. checking on it and it hasn't been that long I don't even think it's been four hours which is usually where it starts to rise a bit but it just does not look that active I'm nervous I'm nervous I might need to do more feedings 
I just really want to bake bread, but I know you have to be patient and just trust the process, honestly. While I sip on my iced coffee, I'm going to film the little home decor haul and the design with me, so that's the plan for the next couple of hours. I just finished filming. I think it went really well, and I'm actually going to start editing it right now. But guys, I just looked out the window, and the grasshopper is still here. I hope it's okay. If you watched my vlog, probably a month ago about the lizard story this is giving me flashbacks in a different kind of way and i'm just worried about this grasshopper because we do not live on the bottom floor we live very high up so i think he's a little lost all right i'm gonna get started on tacos soon basically making the tortilla dough and stuff first because it's still early it's only 4 30 but i am so hungry like i had a pretty good lunch too i just some weeks i'm way more hungry than other weeks i don't know if any of you guys experience that same phenomenon but some, some days and just weeks i just am so so hungry and then other weeks it's just normal so i'm not sure but i could definitely go for an early dinner and i just checked on my sourdough starter again and it's definitely risen a bit but it doesn't look like it's thriving it just i don't know i don't know i'm really new to this so i'm still trying to figure it out but it definitely has risen which i'm hopeful for and i still have about four hours and 30 minutes or no four hours until i want to start actually like making the dough and stuff so hopefully it'll just keep bubbling up and rising some more but i'm just gonna go for it and then keep practicing that's what you have to do with baking you just have to it's kind of trial and error and seeing what works best for you because honestly there's so many factors and even just like the temperature of your home and all these different variables so hoping for the best <laughs> have some pinto beans and um kidney beans i think or yeah kidney beans with some onions under here i love this pan so much and it's great for just keeping tortillas warm on this like little strainer so i have that and then corn and some quinoa and then over here we have cheese and then salsa onions and this little sauce i made the other night for a different dinner so i just want to use that up some organic Greek yogurt, which we use for sour cream, avocados, lime, and jalapenos. Update, our grasshopper friend is still here. I hope he isn't stuck. He definitely has moved around the window a bit, but he is still just hanging out and I'm just not sure what his plan is. I just got out of the shower and I am going to do, hopefully get my sourdough bread ready, but there's this thing called the water or the float test where you take a little bit of your sourdough starter, which this is what mine's looking like. Oh, the ribbon fell off. Where is it? Um, it doesn't really look that risen to be honest. I mean, it's a little risen But nothing too crazy. So I'm really not sure about it. It definitely looks a little bit bubbly So that's good But one thing you can do is take a little scoop of it and put it on water to see if it floats And if it does float, that's a good sign. So that's what we're gonna try now Here goes nothing Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. That big. Okay. It's floating. It's floating. It's floating. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Brandon, you guys couldn't even see it really. Okay. So here's the main blob. <laughs> There's a couple little blob nuggets <laughs> that fell to the bottom because it just like was separated, but. This main blob is floating, so 
I'm gonna take that as my sign to move forward. bread. I hope you are nice and risen in the morning. journey it's just been <laughs> what's been consuming the past 24 hours basically not consuming but it's been it's been a lot so hopefully it turns out well I just have to let it rise do a little second rise and then I'm gonna score it and then I'm gonna bake it so we're on the tail end and I'm just excited to see how it turns out I'm just really curious and I'm just ready to eat some bread honestly but today I'm just gonna get some work done this morning my camera died, so I just had to switch the battery. But what I was saying is I'm just gonna get some work done this morning and then later this afternoon run some errands, possibly run to our house build and just see what's going on there. But usually people are working on it, so I don't know if I'll be able to go inside. And then I'm meeting up with a couple of my girlfriends and it's just gonna be a great day. So I'm excited and I just cannot wait to, cannot wait to take a bite out of this bread. Here is the little diva. Just resting right here. yummy like it really has that beautiful sourdough flavor but it's just too dense so basically this is a common thing that happens when you're first learning how to bake sourdough and there's so many different factors that could contribute to this problem but it still tastes really good so I'm I'm just happy it tastes yummy and Brandon keeps eating it that makes me gives me validation so yeah I'm just gonna enjoy a nice slice and definitely try again this weekend just to try a different recipe and trial and error and see what tastes the yummiest well but done. fresh baked bread there's nothing like it i just mm. i love bread i think bread is my favorite food mm. i think i can officially say that just left the house and i'm on my way to meet my friend for coffee we're gonna get some iced coffee and just go for a walk which will be so nice it's hot today but it's beautiful so the sun's shining and today is just a friendship day because then for dinner i'm gonna meet two of my friends and we're gonna get pad thai and have a little picnic so it's gonna be nice in between those two plans i'm gonna run errands and go to target probably home goods and hopefully thrift shopping as well and maybe to the house so it's just a jam-packed day <laughs> And there's people working but I see they're getting in their car right now so I'm gonna try to wait it out and pop in once they leave I'm totally allowed to go in while they're working I just don't want to get in their way and it's probably not the smartest thing to walk in a construction shot ah, can't talk a construction site while people are working because it'd be a little dangerous so 
I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer, see if they leave, but they did start landscaping, which is so exciting. So we have some trees out and some bushes and grass. Is there grass? I don't know if, I don't think there's grass yet, but little things, just little steps closer to when we can move in just make me so, so thankful and happy. do a quick little haul super random at Target I got a bunch of stuff for tacos so nothing too crazy but I also went to home goods and my friend's birthday is this weekend so I got I'm making her like a gift basket birthday present so I just thought these would be fun to put in that gift basket and then I also found this utensil holder and it's like this concrete material and it was $7.99 and I think it is so beautiful looking and our current utensil holder is white. It's super beautiful and I'll definitely repurpose it for something else but everything else in our kitchen is white basically so I want to add like different textures and just you know other kind of colors. I know this is a neutral but you guys know what I mean. So I'm so glad I found that because I actually had one in my cart for Amazon so I can link that one for you guys if you like this one because it's super similar but this one's cheaper so a great home goods find. I also got a really cute little plant and pot for my friend at a local plant shop. I need to replant it so it fits in this pot but how precious is that? I actually have kind of the same exact pot but bigger but this one is just so cute in miniature so I'm going to put that in her gift basket as well. And then at Target, I got lots of stuff for dinner tomorrow because we're going to go to my um, brother and sister's house. So we just got stuff to bring over. Oh, this has a scratch. Dang it. So I got these sunglasses for Brandon um, because he just needed kind of cheaper sunglasses to do yard work, volunteer in, and like do sports in because he doesn't want to wear like his fancier sunglasses. So I thought these would be good. Oh, yeah. But there's a tiny scratch which I don't see it in when I look in, but I know he's not gonna, he's not gonna settle for that. So I'll just need to exchange those, which is funny because I actually bought another pair already. So now I'm gonna have to exchange. It's okay. One day he'll have his sunglasses. I also got this birthday card for my friend. It says, your hot stuff. It's just funny. And inside it says, and you spice up my life. Happy birthday. So I just thought that was fun and cute. And I got some kombucha. Of course, gotta have my nightly kombucha, even picnic style. So I'm excited to spend the night with my girlfriends. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and hanging out with me the past two days. I feel like it was a little scattered and hectic, but we had quite a fun sourdough journey and just other adventures. So I love you guys so much. And cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye.